through the testimony I've listened to over the past three days, I believe a new election should be called. Wow, that's Mark Harris asking for a new congressional election and then just walking out. Since Monday, the state election board has been listening to testimony about claims of absentee voter fraud by his campaign. Now, Harris won the District 9 seat that includes parts of Cumberland County by about 900 votes, but the election results were never certified, meaning he could not take the seat in Congress. CBS 17's Michael Hyland been at the election headquarters all week for this testimony. And Michael, we just learned there will be a new election for that seat in Congress. Even Republican Party leaders did not expect this to happen when it happened or the way it happened. We were in a break here and the Board of Elections went to a closed door meeting. Then after that, Mark Harris walked in the room and said he wanted to make a statement. He apologized for making what he said was an incorrect comment about whether his son's emails would be evidence in this hearing. He said when he got sick recently, he suffered two strokes and then he said this. I struggled this morning with both recall and confusion. Neither I nor any of the leadership of my campaign were aware of or condoned the improper activities that have been testified to in this hearing. Through the testimony I've listened to over the past three days, I believe a new election should be called. It's become clear to me that the public's confidence in the 9th District seat general election has been undermined to an extent that a new election is warranted. After that, he declined to answer any questions, including when I asked him if he plans to run again. The Board of Elections was voted in the last hour to hold a new election for this seat, as well as two local races in Bladen County. Coming up new at 6, you're going to hear more from Mark Harris's attorney about why he suddenly decided to support a new election in this race. Live in Raleigh, Michael Hyland, CBS 17 News. Michael, thank you. And just before our newscast, Dan McCready, Mark Harris's challenger in the District 9 race, tweeted this out. Today was a great step forward in democracy in North Carolina.